Hey, this is Girl About Town. We're here in the Grand Nightclub. Next to me is Brad from Emerson Drive. And on this side, we have Chris from Doc Walker. Hello. Hello. Why did I just have an English accent? I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> it all started from nothing. All right, so tell me a little bit about what brings you guys to Sudbury. Well, we're on tour, for one thing, and uh, we're trying to hit as many spots as we can on this CMT hit list tour with uh, Aaron Prechette and Emerson Drive and, and Doc Walker, and uh, it's been a blast so far. It's, it's, I've, I've never seen, you know, the crowds that crazy for any of our shows, and uh, I think it's just everybody together and uh, everybody coming up on stage, it's just a good atmosphere. And what do you think contributes to, you know, these exciting shows? I mean, the two of you are performing together. After Let It Roll came out, that must be pretty exciting for fans. Yeah, it, it is for sure. I think the whole idea of you know what, what it started as, uh, kind of the songwriting session, and then snowballing into the song being a single, uh, and then finding out that there was you know a chance that we might actually get to tour together. Uh, just from that whole writing session, I think was a pretty you know unique concept, and and obviously out being out here now and uh, two thirds you know done this tour. Uh, I know Chris will say the same thing, we, we kind of don't want this to end, but it's coming to a quick close here in the next four days, so it's been great though. Sudby loves his country music, mm -hmm. and as is probably the rest of the country. Talk a little bit about the kind of stuff that you guys make and put on your records. Well, I think it's obviously it's evolved over the years, you know, from when we first started out, uh, you know, out of high school and bars and stuff. But I've always thought that, you know, those bar years for us were what really kind of defined where we were going, you know, as a band and musicians from, you know, the point of when you actually get a song on the radio. Uh, and then over the years, as you get through your 20s and into your 30s, obviously life changes uh, and you start writing about stuff that, you know, just means, uh, you know, whatever you're going through at that point in your life and obviously trying to find stuff too that connects with your fans that have been there with you throughout the years. It changes all the time from week to week, month to month, year to year. Tell us a little bit about you know the making of some of your hit songs. How do you know when you have a success on your hands? <laughs> we were talking about that last night because uh, uh, Emerson Drive's new song is going crazy. It's, I mean, it's selling tons of tons of records, and, and you know, fans are freaking out over it. We didn't know that uh, you know, crazy was going to you know just kind of turn into what it was for for people. Like, it, it just feels good after doing this for so many years. You have a song that kind of sneaks in there that goes, okay, well, we still have something that's good. <laughs> yeah, when we wrote Beautiful Life, we kind of knew the three of us, Murray and Dave and I, were because like, it was a pretty good song. It's just it's something that we really wanted to play live, and I think whether it was going to be a huge hit or not. Uh, was was kind of you know didn't really matter. We just wanted to play it because we loved that song. Um, the one that shocked us was Rocket Girl when we recorded. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. When we recorded that, we didn't ever think we'd release it to radio. You know. So when we approached the song in the studio, it was just you know let's just make it nice and and uh, don't overproduce it. Keep it sparse because it's a story song, and it ends up being probably one of the you know one of the biggest songs that we have. And we didn't have any idea it was going to be a single. So some you just never know sometimes. I know here we're here tonight. You're performing at the Grand. What have these shows been like? What's the live experience like for everyone who's going to be here tonight? Give them a little sneak preview. Yeah, it's uh, it's a it's a unique show because obviously you have three uh, three acts that are running this tour. Uh, I think we have an opener tonight too as well. So four anyway on stage uh, throughout the evening. But it, it's really seamless from when the whole thing starts to when it ends, and I love that aspect of it because you're you're giving you know people a good value for what they're coming in to see. Brad saved my life last night. The stage is black. I'm running off because we go on really quick, and I hit a, I hit one of the monitors. I was either going over the side of the stage or into Brad. <laughs> so, thanks, buddy. Well, thank you so much, guys. We look forward to the show tonight, right. and uh, have fun for the rest of the tour. Cool. Thanks.